Welcome to my bathroom. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy from Rebel Nutrition and I normally make videos for health coaches and nutritionists teaching you guys how to create profitable online businesses. But as you can see, today's video is a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking about one of my kind of side hobbies apart from my business um, and that is skincare. So if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know I've made quite a few skincare videos. I absolutely love skincare. And so today's video is going to be all about Beauty Counter and which products I absolutely love and which products are a waste of money or weren't really my favorite. And this is going to be a totally honest review because you guys, I have been using Beauty Counter products now for maybe four or five years, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, there are some things that I've really, really loved, and then there are some things that I'm like, I am not a fan of that, I'm never going to buy that again. So I just wanted to be really, really honest with you, and mostly just share the things that I'm obsessed with lately and the things that I'm not super excited about. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start off on a high note and tell you guys the things that I really like and that I absolutely think are worth your money. And I will just throw it out there too that I'm not somebody who's like married to certain brands. I love to try everything. I am a Sephora junkie. I love all types of brands. And of course, if something is non-toxic or more natural, then that's a huge plus for me, but I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. I also use a lot of like toxic products if they work. So more than anything, and I know a lot of you who are nutritionists or health coaches are like cringing, I'm really looking for results. And so if a product can't give me the results that I'm looking for, then I will find something else. And I live a pretty clean lifestyle in terms of food and where I live and the air that I breathe and all of that. So beauty products, sometimes I will make a little bit of an exception for. Okay, having said that, these are the products that I currently have in my possession. As you guys know, I just moved to Maui. And so all of my I have a ton of skincare back in LA and it's still coming to me. So this is all that I have right now. So anything that I'm talking about that I don't have in my possession, I will just show a photo of on the screen. Okay, so first up, I've got actually two things from the counter control line. So the first thing is the counter control cleanser. Now the counter control line is specifically for acne. Um, so I am somebody who breaks out a lot around like my chin and jawline, especially during certain times of the month. So I got this counter control pore cleanser and I absolutely love it. It does have like the, it's kind of exfoliating. It has the microbeads in it. Um, but something I love about it is that it leaves my skin feeling really, really clean, which I recently was using a, like a cream cleanser. I won't name the brand, <laughs> but I was recently using a cream cleanser and it just like felt like my face never got clean. And that's when I noticed a lot of my acne starting to pop up again. So when I switched to this, um, most of my breakouts cleared. So I love that. I love that so much that I ended up getting the counter control matte toner, which is the same like acne line as the cleanser that I was just telling you. So this toner I'll actually use as like a step two after I clean my face, if I'm getting breakouts around my chin or jaw and it just gets like any extra oil or makeup or anything like that off. And I've definitely noticed a difference with my hormonal breakouts since I've been using those. So I'm really into those. I will continue to get those. And then there is one more thing that I don't have in my possession from that line and it is the counter control spot treatment. So it's just like a little gel and you can dab it on like anywhere that you have zits. And I swear to God, that stuff is magical. Like I will put it, I have a zit like near my lip right now. I wish I had some because you can put it on in the next morning. It's like almost completely dried out. It's amazing. By the way, you guys, I will link to everything that I'm talking about, the stuff that I do like and the stuff that I don't like. I will link to everything below so you can check it out on your own and make your own decisions. All right, the next things that are, I think, totally worth your money. And I have very interesting skin because I partially use some of the acne line and then I partially use some of the anti-aging line. So I'm like, bottom of my face down is like a 15 year old teenager acne and then bottom up, I'm like, anti-aging please. So the counter time line is specifically for anti-aging. I actually bought the counter time line because I liked that it was pink. <laughs> yes, that's how, how much I love pink but I ended up really, really loving it. So this is the soft cream. The soft cream is kind of like a lighter day cream. I absolutely love it. And one of the active ingredients in the counter time line, or I don't know if it's an act active ingredient, but one of the ingredients in the counter time line is called Bakuchiol. 
interesting name, I know, but it's basically a comparable ingredient to retinol. And retinol is like the most amazing anti-aging skincare ingredient there is, but there are some side effects to it. It's not totally non-toxic and you have to really be careful if you're gonna use it and be in the sun. So Bacuchiol, <laughs> not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, is very similar to retinol, but you don't have any of those side effects. So that's really awesome. I love this and then I can wear it during the day under my makeup and it gives me the perfect amount of moisture without being greasy. And then also this is the Countertime Supreme Cream. So this one I'm really loving as like a heavier night cream. It is pretty thick. I personally love it. I like to like put a layer on my face a couple hours before I go to bed and just like let my skin absorb it. But I only put it on like the upper half of my face. If I was somebody who had a lot of acne like all over my face, I don't necessarily know if I would love this because it is really thick. All right, and then one more thing that I absolutely love but I don't have in my possession right now is the Rejuvenating or Countertime Serum. So I love a serum. I love putting a serum on like after I've toned my face. I'm just like visualizing what it's like in my mind right now. After I wash my face, after I tone my face, I do the serum and then the moisturizer. And any sort of serum just kind of like helps the moisturizer get into your skin a lot better. Um, and it's really anti-aging. I absolutely love it, but I don't have any with me right now. So that's why I'm not showing it to you. Now, before we get into the things that I personally would not waste your money on, I'm gonna talk about a few things that are kind of like, I'm not quite sure about yet. So one of those things is the vitamin C serum. Um, so I was just talking about how much I love serums and this is the serum that I'm currently using. And this one, if you guys have watched my melasma hyperpigmentation video, you know that dark spots is another thing. <laughs> They're another thing that I've struggled with um, on my cheeks from being in the sun. So vitamin C is one of the best things to kind of naturally lighten up any dark spots or hyperpigmentation or melasma that you have. So I love using a vitamin C serum. Before this one, I've been using the Drunk Elephant vitamin C and I absolutely love it. It smells so good. This I'm not sure. I just started using it and <laughs> it smells like turmeric. It smells like I'm rubbing turmeric on my face, um, which is not my favorite. However, if it really works, if it works as well as the Drunk Elephant vitamin C, um, then I for sure I'm gonna switch over to this one because it is non-toxic. So it's like a non-toxic version. I think Drunk Elephant's pretty clean too, but yeah, we'll see. I'll give you guys an update on that later. Okay, well, you guys caught me in the act. I'm looking for the next thing that I was gonna talk about. I literally have no clue where it is. So I will just have to put a picture of it on the screen right now. But the next thing that I'm kind of in between about, I would say, is the sunscreen. So I've heard that Beauty Counter is coming out with a more like face specific sunscreen in the future, which I would definitely try. This sunscreen that I'm using right now is, I don't mind it for my body, but it does kind of leave a greasy feeling. Um, it smells really good, but I definitely, especially being acne prone and living in Hawaii now where it's, it's pretty humid, I would not put this sunscreen on my face just because I wouldn't want to break out. I know some people do. I don't really like the feeling of it on my face. I don't mind it on my body, but I wouldn't put it on my face. So that's why I'm kind of in between with that. All right, now the part that you've all been waiting for, the beauty counter products that I would recommend not wasting your money on. And again, you guys, this is just my personal experience. I wanna be really honest with you. And I also don't have any of these things because I've tried them in the past and I didn't buy them again. So I'm just going to put them on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, the first beauty counter product that I would not waste your money on is the cleansing balm. Now, I know that a lot of people really, really love the cleansing balm. I think especially people who have really sensitive dry skin. When I tried the cleansing balm, it was just, it felt like rubbing coconut oil all over my face. And I just was not a fan of that, especially again, as somebody who's acne prone. But the cool thing about the cleansing balm is that there's a couple different ways that you can use it. I think if you have really dry skin, you can leave it on as like an overnight mask. And I know some people really love that. You can also literally use it as like a cleanser to melt your makeup off. So if you guys are familiar with like double cleansing, the first step in double cleansing is using some sort of like oil-based cleanser to really help remove your makeup. And then you do a step two. So I think if I was using the cleansing balm as a part of the two step, like I was using it to get my makeup off and then I was coming in with like something more heavy duty like this to get all that oil off, 
maybe, but I, it's pretty expensive too. I think it's like $80. So I personally would not buy that again. Okay. And now at this point too, you guys might be wondering like, Amy, you haven't talked about anything makeup related because Beauty Counter does make makeup products too. I'm definitely much more of a skincare girl. As you can tell, I don't have that much makeup on. I don't ever really wear that much makeup. But the next three things that I would not waste your money on are all makeup from Beauty Counter. The makeup that I've tried from Beauty Counter, I have not been a fan of. I don't think there's anything makeup wise that I've ever bought that I was like super blown away with. So I'm gonna tell you what those things are and then what I actually use instead. So the first makeup product from Beauty Counter that I did not like was the lipstick. So lipstick, it's kind of unfortunate because it's on your lips. So you really want it to be non-toxic because there's a high likelihood that it's gonna be like ingested. But I was so bummed because when I got the lipstick, it just kind of, didn't really stay put it sort of bled a lot and it just made it look like i didn't do a very good job putting it on now that could have been because i didn't have a lip liner with it um, but it just wasn't my favorite and so when i am doing like a red lip which i did a lot when i was in europe maybe i'll insert some pictures here and i absolutely love the way that looked i use charlotte tilbury i absolutely love her lipstick and her lip liners there freaking amazing and I know that they are not natural they are not non-toxic but I don't wear lipstick that often so I feel like if I'm going to do it I want it to look really good and that's what I'll use now the next beauty counter product that I personally would not buy again is the under eye concealer and the only reason being is that I like a thick under eye concealer I have some dark circles and I really need some help in that department and the under eye concealer from beauty counter just didn't really cut it for me. I also didn't love the fact that it was in like a, it's in like one of those twist up things. I don't know how to explain that. I'll, I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but basically you like twist it up and then just like dab it under your eyes. I like kind of more of a thicker under eye concealer. Um, so that wasn't my favorite, but again, I'm sure some people love it. Now at this point, I personally use a NARS under eye concealer again, totally toxic <laughs> but it works really really well i love it it doesn't crease and it covers all of my dark spots so all right the last beauty counter item that i would not buy again and i will say when i first used this product i actually did like it um this was now this was like four years ago now and i think i've just come a long way in my makeup journey let's say and i found something a lot better which is why i wouldn't buy it again and that was the tint skin so the tint skin is like beauty counters foundation and they actually have a dew skin too the dew skin is more like a tinted moisturizer that has spf that one is pretty good if you want an spf the tint skin is more of like a thicker coverage and it doesn't have spf so the thing I don't like about the tint skin is that it doesn't have SPF. And number two, it's not enough coverage for me. So I personally like to have a thick enough coverage of my foundation to where my dark spots and any acne breakouts that I have are covered while still looking natural. And the tint skin, I think I liked it for a while. Again, this was years ago. Um, and I just continued to try other things because I think I wasn't always 100% sold on it. Um, and then, I found the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and actually I have it in here. So I will show you guys the two things that I use. So this is obviously not beauty counter. Um, so there are two different things. This one, the labels kind of come off of, but this is from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll just show you what it looks like. And it is the flawless. I think this one is the flawless filter. And this one is kind of more of like a dewy, glowy tinted moisturizer. So I'll do this one first. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So this one's thicker. And this one, I will actually just kind of put on like my dark spots and my chin anywhere that I really need it because this one is really thick. But together, I feel like they give me the perfect amount of coverage without looking like caked on. It's still really natural. So those are the foundation and makeup products that I prefer over Beauty Counter. Now, last but not least, something that I forgot to mention are the facial oils from Beauty Counter. I absolutely love this is obviously like the tiniest little bottle ever but they have little mini ones so you can try them out because there's three different types of facial oils and I am obsessed with facial oils even if you're somebody who breaks out a lot don't be afraid of oil just don't put coconut oil on your face um, but other types of oils that are non comedogenic are which means like they won't clog your pores are really really amazing and 
I personally love dabbing just a tiny bit of oil like around my eyes or anywhere I'm feeling a little bit dry so that it could absorb and I wake up in the morning and I'm just, my skin is just all glowy. So whether you get your facial oil from Beauty Counter, this one is from Beauty Counter and I really like it, or you just find one from like Whole Foods, like I'll show you guys. I was not planning to do this, but I also use like a grapeseed oil. And grapeseed oil is really good, doesn't clog your pores. So this is gonna be a much more budget friendly option than the beauty counter oils, but the beauty counter oils just smell so, so good. So I'd recommend both of those. All right, you guys, I hope you love this video <laughs> and I hope you love skincare as much as I do. I think it's so fun to talk about and I hope this gave you some good information on which products to try out and which ones to maybe save your money on. Let me know in the comments below if you disagree with me, if there's any makeup products from Beauty Counter that you are absolutely obsessed with, that you absolutely love, or if you don't like some of the skincare products that I mentioned. I'm always curious to hear what other people think because all of our skin is just so different. So like what works for me might not work for you, but I wanted to share my input with you guys and I will be back again soon with another probably business related video, but please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and tell me down below if you like skincare videos like this or if you want me to stick to the business stuff, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.